Hello again and welcome to the Master's Voice. I am Celestial and you are welcome to this channel. To old and new subscribers, you are very welcome. Please check the three dots menu at the top or look along the bottom row until you see a cog or a wheel icon. Click that and then click advanced or higher quality to upgrade the quality of your video so that you don't have a fuzzy or a grainy image. I am continuing with the Sin series on the master's voice. To those who are new, I usually present the words of the Lord on this channel in series. So the first series that I ever did on this channel was the Russia and China series, um, detailing the things that the Lord says will come here in the end days that America will actually lose her military strength and she will enter into a final end times war with twin horns or twin behemoths, um, Russia and China, and that she will not be successful in that military conflict that those nations will come here as a judgment of the Lord, a very, very, very severe graphic and painful prophetic judgment of the Lord for the things that America is guilty of, the things that the Lord says that America has done. After that, I was in the America series for many months and I was revealing the secrets and the various occurrences that take place here in the United States hidden things that God wants the people of America to know that happen here. And so we looked at political issues. We looked at secret sins. We looked at very depraved practices that happen here in America. And when that series finally came to an end, the Lord then directed me to start the sin series, which of course should be easy to understand what it is. God is reading out to America through me, Celestial, the various charges that he has to bring against this nation. So this particular series has more of a kind of courtroom tone. And the reason it has a courtroom tone is because before a person can be judged, that person must be tried. And in the process of being tried, all the evidence against you must be read. And so the sin series is, I guess, particularly graphic because in it, God is exposing secret predilections and secret things that happen here in America. Some of them very well known and some of them not known at all. So we have looked at things like child sacrifice, human sacrifice, secret types of murders. We have looked at the fact that blood is regularly spilled here on open altars, such as the murder rate in the United States, such as the abortion rate in the United States. But we've also looked at secret killing and human sacrifice that takes here, things that people actually deny. Many people in the United States continue to deny that human sacrifice takes place here, but the Lord has exposed in many, many prophecies on the master's voice that human sacrifice is in fact a very sick kind of battery that America operates on. So human sacrifice is where people are snatched, taken, stolen away from their homes, and they are routinely tortured. They are almost always sexually molested from children to adults until their spirits and souls are almost at the point of physical expiry, meaning death. And then they are put to death in very, very graphic and clear satanic rituals that the Lord has revealed to me and that I've openly shared on this platform. I understand that the master's voice is not a prophetic channel that is easy to stomach, but at the same time, God is tired of bearing the knowledge of these things alone. God is also tired of so many of his people who form the end times church being absolutely and totally uninformed about the things that actually take place here, not only in this nation, but around the world. Many of the things that the Lord is exposing on this channel are international sins, global sins. However, the reason that America is being given pride of place is because America is the favored son. America is the greatest and the most powerful of the nations. At least she was, she is already in decline. You can try to deny it, but these are the words of the Lord that I am given to speak. And so I speak them with absolutely no fluff and pretense so that it can be known. 
America is in her period of decline, her swan song, as I have said in one of these prophetic words. And therefore, all that remains is to basically watch the elevator of this nation gradually go down, down, down until she comes to the place where God says she will be too weak to even fight off a child and she will be eventually destroyed and removed from the register of nations altogether. Today, I'm starting a new series within the sin series. This prophecy series is called In America. I was going to head another way as I believed the Lord wanted me to, but early this morning, he spoke to me and he said, today you start the In America series. So this is a collection of about five or six prophecies that were all titled by the Lord in America, looking at different aspects of the United States, how her judgment will come and what will happen. Today, I start with the first one. He said that I should go in order. So the first one is from the 2nd of July, 2021, and it is called Technology and Tracking in America. However, before I deliver this prophecy, I will deliver another prophetic word that I received from the Lord perhaps only 15 minutes ago. In case this video is dated as time goes by, today is September 17th, 2021, and it's about 6.43 p.m. So I would say I got this just 6.25 or 6.30, 15 minutes ago. I was preparing little snippets for the blog to make it easier for people to share the blog, uh, introduce it to people who may not know about it. So I was preparing snippets of previous videos for this channel. And after I uploaded the video and I was checking to see if it was rendered, I saw a little box on the side. So I saw a little, um, another video suggested and it says France, uh, cancels gala. And I thought, France cancels gala. And so I clicked it and it said that the nation of France has canceled some kind of big soiree or big international and political mixer that was to be held for either American delegates in Europe or to be held here in America for a mixing of the delegates from the two continental areas. And the reason that was given in the description box, I didn't take time to watch the video as um, there's not usually time on my end. But what the description box said is that France was protesting the fact that America recently canceled a very big deal involving um, Australia, which is like the United States. Australia is like America in that it's a country, but it's also an entire continent. And Australia is an extremely, extremely hardworking and productive nation. And so I feel, or from what I understood, the EU was greatly counting on this deal and President Biden canceled the deal. And um, it says that France canceled the gala in protest. And the minute I read that part, the spirit of the Lord said to me, Celestial, this is how it starts. And so I listened and he said to me, and I will render the words as faithfully as he said them to me. He said, this is how it starts. This is how the loss of international prominence and the loss of relevance in the global arena starts for America. He said that the nations will raise their voice against America and that they will no longer be shy to make their feelings known when America makes bad choices or bad moves. So traditionally, other nations don't actually say anything, but what the Lord said to me as he was speaking, his other voice, sometimes God sounds like a choir. He can be telling me three or four different things at the same time. And because of his amazing grace, I'm able to hear all the different voices, his alto, his soprano, and his mezzo soprano, and his tenor and bass at the same time. And so even while he was telling me on one level, this is how it starts. This is how the nations begin to push back. Another voice was simply saying, um, barking, barking, barking. And as I heard that voice saying barking, what I saw was the old fashioned, um, microphones, you know? So in the old days they had this microphone that was a very big head and it used to have straight lines across it. And I saw the, basically the map of the world. And I saw this old fashioned radio show up. And then with these little static lines or electric bolts that shows that the microphone is speaking, the microphone is actually broadcasting. And as I looked at it, while the Lord was speaking to me, I heard another voice say anti-American propaganda, 
anti-American propaganda. So what the Lord was saying is that this is how it starts. The nations are going to find their voice. They are going to speak against the United States and they will not be afraid at all. They will push back and you will start to hear anti-American propaganda in nations that have never historically been anti-American. So just like in the EU, they were not afraid to say, not only are we so angry and upset about this very raw deal that you served us at the last minute when we thought we were about to be signatories to uh, an international trade deal that could better everyone, you unilaterally canceled this thing, but we're going to let you know how we feel feel by canceling the party that we were going to hold in your honor. And so I saw these microphones speaking and the Lord said that the nations are going to be anti-American. So what will happen is that as this anti-American propaganda begins to pop up in nations that are perhaps not Arab nations that have traditionally been um, enemies of the United States, people will fall out of love with America. This is what the Lord was pressing upon my heart, that people will no longer be so interested to come here. And so I saw that America's um, international travel and trade and interest in holiday America as a holiday destination will wane. So um, there's going to be loss of cash here because the what is it called? I guess the hotel industry, you know, and the travel industry, there we go, is just not going to be as alluring to people anymore. So people are going to be planning their holidays and they're not going to come here as often. They just won't want to. In fact, as I was watching this, I heard a phrase and the phrase was basically, who wants to go to the home of the disease that is currently all over the world. I just heard a voice randomly says, no, not there. Who wants to go to the home of the Rona, you know? And um, this is all what was happening at different levels. And then um, another word that came to me as the Lord was showing me all this, that people were just pulling back and people were just disinterested. They did not care and they were not interested. And um, another word that came on top of all those layers is provoke provoke. And then I saw those very dangerous Rottweiler dogs. I saw Rottweiler and this dog was wearing a collar that was studded and the dog was making that low growling sound that always comes before somebody loses a body part with these dogs. And so the dog was making that low, deep, dangerous growling in the throat that comes 10 seconds before you're going to lose that leg or you're going to lose that arm because the dog is angry and provoked. And the Lord said that the nations of the world will become provoked against the United States and they will strongly counter the moves and the decisions that are made here in the coming years. In fact, this African country that without disrespect, hardly anyone ever speaks about, the nation of Djibouti came to me. This is a nation that is in East Africa, a very small nation, not even 3,000 square kilometers. So very small, but strategic as an entryway and a gateway into what is called the Horn of Africa. Even this type of nation, the Lord was showing me, the type of nation that kids don't even really know about, they don't know where it is, they don't know what the nation is famous for, that type of nation is going to stand up on the international stage and criticize the United States. So we're going to see a lot of open pushback and open mm, refusal to just be moved by America. A lot of just, uh, you know, we're not going to take this and you need to know uh, how to handle yourself and you need to know about yourself. We're going to tell you about yourself. And America's enemies are actually going to be watching what I can only refer to as growing dissension. So this growing dissension, it is going to be watched by with great satisfaction by the Arab nations that traditionally do not like the United States, by Russia, and of course, by China. We've already seen some of what I'm speaking about happening um, since this new administration came into power. Um, Russia has said some very open and clear things, and China has said some very open and clear things. And you see these things constantly being replayed in the press. But what the Lord is showing is that 
the, gr- the, the loss of influence and the loss of general interest in the United States as a global player is going to start coming from people who are even traditionally allies, such as those in the EU and people who would normally never say a word or make a peep. The nations are going to find their tongue against the United States. And so I will stop this particular snippet here just to keep it short. And then I will be back momentarily with the prophecy, technology, and tracking in America. I'm Celestial with the Master's Voice. You can find everything that you need to know about this ministry in the description box below. May the Lord bless and keep you. And until I see you again, goodbye.